everybody and welcome to Sandra can cook today on Sandra can cook we want to show you how to make the homemade burger the healthier way we want to show you how to make the homemade burger we hope you guys are doing very well welcome and come join with us to make this food so to make the homemade burger I want to start the burger first I have here 720 grams of minced beef a pinch of salt and garlic some um, ginger, some chive, and some basil. And I have one medium sized red onion here. So let's get cooking, guys. So you go ahead and peel the onions beautifully. I'm going to use the bigger size. Nicely. Once that is done, I'm going to go ahead and wash the onions. Once the onions are washed, I'm going to go ahead and give it a good chopping. The Santa can cook, and you're doing the homemade burger. When you do your own burger at home, guys. It helps you to know what's in there, what you want and what you do not want. Especially for children who love this kind of food so much. You want to try and do your own thing at home. Just so you can pick and choose exactly what you want in your burger. So our finely chopped onions is added to the minced beef. You want to go ahead and add your spices beautifully nothing much nicely so with your neatly washed hands you want to go ahead and mix it mix it very well make sure the onions and all that you've chosen to add to your burger is married in there beautifully if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet kindly go ahead and do so you can equally like comment and share thank you so much for taking time to watch Sandra can cook the Lord bless you we appreciate you thank you to our already subscribed fans and loved ones thank you very much so you get it molded beautifully that's it So guys, here we are with our spiced minced beef. You want to go ahead and start molding your burger. You want to make sure of how much you want. I intend to make four burgers out of this quantity. So I have my oven tray here ready. You divide into two equal parts. You don't want to leave anything hanging, anything spare that you will not use after. And then give this one to another. You neatly wash hands, you mold it nicely into a round ball type of shape for your um, minced meat. Nicely. With that down, you now press it. Press your bag up down. Press it down. As you work on the ends, you press it down. Give it down. Give it a good down. To the size of the bread you'll be using. In fact, you don't need to make it same, but close to it or just a bit over the size of your choosing bread nicely you want to work on the ends you want a clean job as so long as it tastes good you are fine perfection is all right but not at this time so with this molded you want to place it nicely into your oven tray so guys this is the um molded and flattened beef mince with our spices ready to go into the oven for a homemade beggar on sandra can cook so thank you guys so guys our beggar buns our beggar has been been in the oven for half an hour 15 minutes on each side so you want to go ahead and assemble it 
beautifully. I'm gonna do justice to it. Before we assembled it, we had our um, bigger buns in the oven for about just two to three minutes, just to get it warm. So we're gonna go ahead, the thicker side of the bread, you put it down beautifully. Um, I prefer to assemble it with the vegetables first. The people I'm doing for my children, they are quite fussy. But hey, this is mommy's own way of giving them something healthy. So we're gonna go ahead, place it on top. So you wanna go ahead and do justice to this. And then we have some nicely cut cucumbers. This people going to eat this are quite fussy. So I'm gonna do as I please. You have your nice ketchup on there. Then you place your cheese on top of it. And then goes your burgers nicely. When it's done, you want to turn it around beautifully. Lovely people, this is what we came up with. So we have our homemade burger. You can arrange it anyhow you want. It's all about making a healthier beggar for your children or whoever you want to feed or even for yourself at home it doesn't matter cheese on top cheese is down you just do as you please so in here i have my beggar bun my cheddar cheese the mature one I have some um onion tomato and some cucumber in there with some ketchup as well so four beggar buns made today on sandra can cook and it's going to go down with some smoothie or some milkshake and today's milkshake to go with our beggar buns my um, beggars is going to be the uh, few fruits put together so stay on guys and cook along with us on sandra can cook kindly like share comment and subscribe see you guys in our milkshake so guys if our beggars done beautifully you want to go ahead and do the fruity milkshake I'll go along with our homemade burger and to make it we have here um, apples the green apples two whole ones cut um, three big strawberries and one banana and about four scoops of vanilla ice cream and almost over half a glass of milk fresh milk so you want to go ahead and start with your milkshake with everything in the blender, you want to go ahead and do a good job by making your own homemade milkshake. So you got all the ingredients we showed and then a glass of milk and the ice cream. So you want to go ahead and blend beautifully. You want to go ahead and turn your blender on. So guys, after we blended for a while, we tasted it and realized we needed some sugar. So we added two tablespoons of sugar and about four tablespoons of evaporated milk. Now we're going to go ahead and get it blended smoothly. Lovely people, this is what we finished in today's cooking session on Sandra Can Cook. It's been the homemade burger with some strawberry, banana, and apple milkshake. The homemade version, which makes it healthier and or healthy. Because obviously, once you've done it at home, you know what goes in there. And you are able to pick and choose. So this is it. Thank you so much. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. It's been Sandra here with homemade burgers and some milkshake on Sandra Can Cook. Thank you so much and have a great day, guys. So we see you again in our next video. Take care.